How's it? There are four PSL games this weekend, and we're going to try and give you some betting tips. I'm here with my mate, Banele. Uh, Chippa United travel to, I mean, Chippa United host Maritzburg United. Uh, that's, that's a very, very interesting encounter. It's, it's interesting indeed in terms of um, relegation. I mean, both teams, I don't know what the heck they're doing. I mean, especially mm. Chippa United, they're sacking coaches after three games, sacking coaches after five games, and the players are leaving. So a, a lot of players have left Chippa United um, in this January transfer window, and they haven't replaced them with anyone whereas in respect on the other hand they busy they signing everyone and apparently Ukanyeza could be uh, out mm -hmm. of retirement and try and save them I mean they've scored six goals I'm not sure if Ukanyeza can help the whole what you think in that one yeah I, I mean in terms of his work ethic and leadership on the field he is such an amazing mm -hmm. fantastic striker PSL second um, all-time top goal scorer so I think um, I mean Great, great player as well, and they have to pay Amazon, you know, for the for the remainder of the contract that he yeah. had with them because he signed for Marisbeck United as a, as an assistant coach. So yeah. Amazon said they want their money if they want to use him as a player. Yeah. And Clinton Lawson, I mean, you give him a chance. He took he took cheaper United job. I mean, I wouldn't take him um, the cheaper United job. Uh, you know, you're going to be sacked after two games. So yeah. well, why why bother taking it? Do you give them any chance? Yeah, maybe with the new CEO Morgan Mamila from Baroka FC, mm. uh, maybe things are going to change because it's going to help. Uh, the business from the football point of view because Ch uh, Chipa Mbengas seems to be a businessman and yeah. from the football point of Absolutely. view he seems to not understand certain things so hopefully he does help the team you know uh, survive relegation Tabiso Kutumela has signed for, Pitama, for, for Marisbeck United great acquisition yeah it's a great acquisition I mean in my respect they've been very busy in this um, transfer window you can see they, they, they want to survive this relegation and actually tipping them in this game uh, to walk away with three points against a dreadful Chipa United at 23 to 10 I'll take the team of choice I'll disagree with you. You know, whenever a new coach comes in, the team seems to be fired up because the players want to impress. I foresee Mar uh, Chippa United. But it hasn't been the one. case um, yeah. with Chippa. They've been changing coaches and they still haven't been firing. But yeah, let's go on. But it's, but it's Clinton last time, bro. A rejuvenated um, Black, Black Leopards host um, Golden Arrows of Steve Compella. I mean, Black Leopards, we saw what they did against Super Sport United. We spoke about them at the Toronto Stadium. They are a very hard team to beat since the days of, I don't know when, going to Limpopo, it's not an easy one. The Toronto Stadium, again, we're expecting a full house against um, a newly um, Golden Arrows, if I can say. Do you give Arrows any chance at, at, at the Toronto Stadium? Mm, actually, look, um Black Leopards, I mean, the visitors, in, in fact, Golden Arrows should Eros. be grateful that the matches at night because we know the weather conditions there yeah. at Toronto Stadium can be hot. unbearable for teams coming out of Limpopo. So I think Steve Kompela's Golden Arrows does stand a chance, even though they actually had to come back to salvage one one draw against Bluefontein Celtic last mm. week. So, yeah, I think they do stand a chance because the game is played at night. That's mm. the only reason I'd give it to them. I, don't, I think they have no chance, this mm. Black Leopards team. I mean, Black Leopards, apparently, this their coach is is um is like they, they are the most well coached team at the moment yeah at the moment so that's what the people are saying and i kind of agree with them so i'll beg them here to go to make a three in a row i mean this is a very good coach so black leopards my money is only black leopards here yeah. ipuluban is city i mean they host events it's an interesting game that we saw events with gavin hunt throwing ten terms after the the loss um, to Kaiser Chiefs. How important was that game for Gavin Hunt? Very, very important because it speaks to their mental strength as mm. they're in the league title race. And now <coughs> Gavin Hunt seems to be losing uh, the plot, you know. Yeah. The way the way he reacted after the match shows that um, he's he's kind of cracking under pressure. And now they visit a Polokane city side that can hold their own, uh, you know, on their day with the likes of Ramakalela, players like Ngomezulu. So I think this one is going to be pretty much evenly matched and I foresee it ending with a share of the spoils. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think Ramakalela will play in this game. I think he's been suspended by the club. I mean, the talks of him joining teams like KZ Chiefs and all the big teams. But if it's, they'll be without Robin Johannes, who was sent off um, in the game for, for in the game against the KZ Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Victor Gomes sending, sending him in the last three uh, meetings. Wow. The last three games is officiated involving um, thingy, uh, Robin Johannes. Yeah. Victor Gomes has sent him off. Yeah, I mean... We can't say there's an agenda. If, if a player is wrong, he has to be sent off, even if it's five times in a row. I mean, in Liverpool, they've been getting penalties each and every week, and it's, you have to give them. You can't say they've been getting penalties for the last three games. We mustn't give them mm. now. So in terms of my prediction here, I'll go for Ipolo and City. A win, win or draw. I don't mm. see them losing two votes at all. I'm going for a draw. 
And uh, yeah, Super Sport United under the tutelage of Kaitano Tembo. Hey, we have to laugh at the Super Sport United. I mean, they were embarrassing against uh, me play Clippers. I mean, the showboating. And yeah, I mean, in Zulu, we say, that's how bad it was. <laughs> it was terrible. And in Plumford and Celtic, we saw the supporters there um, striking and, and protesting. I mean, it's, it's a good thing that the... It's the supporters who are protesting, not the players, because yeah. it could be um, um, risky for the players and their careers. So yeah, I mean, you Bluefontein Celtic, they and, and Super Sport United, they both are bad teams at the moment. I, I can't separate them. I just go for a throw. Yeah, like, like um, Bluefontein Celtic fans boycotted that match against Arrows. Yeah, yeah, uh, the stadium was virtually empty, empty, empty. But I heard that this week they're meeting uh, with the the, the 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 new chairman and the management. Hopefully, they're going to be able to sort those issues out. And I agree with you now. Finally, we get to agree on a mm. tip. So I'll back a um, shelf the spoils on this one as well. So yeah, those are our thoughts and analysis. Let us know what you think. Leave your comments below and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get yourself the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand to Nerasolut Best Branch or News Agent.